Hello guys, Rachel on Media again, and uh, in this video I thought I'll make a tutorial that no one seemed to make before. Uh, it's on uh, mental ray production uh, shaders, and uh, what I'm gonna do is try to incom incorporate uh, a basically a object into a real photo using HDR and a backplate. Now uh, you can find all the links in the description where I got all the my AGRs and um, backplates. And uh, I'll also be providing you with uh, a little model, but anyway, let's set up a scene right now, quickly. Uh, I'm using 3ds Max 2010, and uh, if you haven't got it, it's um, highly recommend because really, really nice. Uh, it's got some amazing updates. So, um, right. Okay, first we can uh, click on perspective. Let's go click on views, viewport background, uh, background, and. Uh, just click you put background background sorry about that um, so we're gonna select the backplate right now so I just wanna scroll down to where my this textures HDI uh, gold field backplate and uh, let me just select something nice um, I'll use this one as you can see uh, use image on gamma, uh, you can select that, and as you can see, size 4096 by everything okay, 8 bits per channel. Just click open and uh, display background, match bitmap, and lock zoom and pan. Hit that, and uh, as you can see, we've got a background. Uh, let's create a little plane in top viewport, something like so. So let's scale it down to about 500 by 500 centimeters. Uh, by the way, if you don't know how to change the units, uh, what you do is click Customize, uh, Unit Setup, and uh, as you can see here, you can select what you want. So what I'm going to do is just click on Meters, maybe that's going to be a bit more, as you can see it's 5 meters by 5 meters. I'm uh, going to click on Perspective Viewport, hit Alt-W, and uh, as you can see that maximizes. Hit F4 to show lines, and uh, hit G to disable the grid. Uh, now let's create a camera, now we can either click Control c or you can go to views, uh, sorry, create cameras, and uh, either create camera from the view or free camera. So once you got that done, uh, let's go to options. Uh, let's select orbit camera, and uh, let's just make something like so. And as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm simply trying to put it plain in a nice, so it would look something similar. And uh, what we can find out is actually what um, what diameter was the lens shot. So what we can do is we're gonna minimize it. Go to my textures folder. Uh, if I can find it here. Oh, there is textures. Oops. HDR, gold field, backplate. And uh, I believe I'm using this one. I'm gonna right click. Properties. Uh, go to summary and uh, click advanced and as you can see you're gonna get all these settings and the uh, focal length was 28 millimeters so we need to set same on camera so we're gonna go to perspective view uh, click W for move and uh, let's just select camera and as you can see we're 43 now we can head back to C and uh, let's select 28 millimeters just two uh, oops 28 and uh, let's just center this somehow, so something similar. So something like that, I think this is pretty good. Okay. Uh, now after we got that done out of the way, uh, what we can do next is actually, I don't know why this keeps doing that, I'm going to hit J to disable the brackets. Uh, we're gonna import Android model, and uh, I'll provide that in a description with project files. So hit open import, and uh, just click merge. And uh, what's gonna be Android boot? As you can see, I made a little robot here. So just hit open, and uh, just click all. Okay, and uh, there we got a little robot. Uh, now what we can do is actually move this forward a bit. Uh, just move that up. Okay. Uh, let's 
select angle snaps and I uh, just rotate it. Uh, let's make a few of them. And I'll just drag this one back here somehow. somewhere. And, uh, let's rotate this by 90 degrees. And uh, maybe a little bit sideways as well. And uh, let's just drag this down. And something like so. Uh, we can start doing with materials. Uh, click on material editor or hit M on your keyboard. And as you can see, all the shaders are here. Uh, now, the way you might not even know how to get uh, these mental uh, arch and design materials, what you can do is click on customize, uh, custom UI and default switcher. That is going to load up. And what I'm using here is uh, design based mental ray. And as you can see, it shows what it changes. Uh, if you got V ray, you're going to selection for that as well. Just click design based mental ray and just click set. And, uh, this should set everything to the way I got set. Uh, select all of these objects. Let's just apply default shader for now. Um, a little bit lighter, maybe. Um, what I'm gonna do is just make a ba black line, so I think it looks a little bit better. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, go render setup uh, size, and uh, I'm just gonna click. Show save frames. There we go. And uh, what we're going to do is actually make a simple render right now. Um, so we hit render. And, uh, as you can see, that's what we're getting right now, which doesn't look much. Um, default lighting. Uh, you can't see the background. Uh, we will change that in a second. So I'm just going to cancel that. Uh, going to hit to reuse the geometry. So. So not have to calculate anymore. Uh, hit M from material. As you can see, it disappears. From, I don't know why. Um, get material. Scroll down. And uh, all the yellow ones are mental ray materials. So, thought it might be useful to know. Uh, just let me find it here. Um, there he is. Um, First of all, we're going to select this one, Environment Background Camera Map. That's going to be the first one. And uh, let's just select, re rename that to Camera Map. And uh, let's add Background Switch as well. So just call that Background. And uh, right, we could actually, yeah, I think it's going to be. Okay, for now. Uh, what we we'll actually do is add a. Actually, it's okay. Uh, just add these two switches off. Uh, let's go to rendering, environment. And uh, environment map. Drag this one to an empty slot. You can't do that. Okay, let's load the HDR here. Now. Uh, let's begin from the start, maybe. It's going to be a little bit easier. Right, so. Environment background camera map. Uh, so, let's hit on browse. The, let's add a HDR here. Let me scroll down. Textures. HDR. Gold field. Backplates. And uh, just thumbnails. And uh, can't remember which one it was. Uh, just let's go to views, viewport background, viewport background. Let's see which file is it. Forty two. Okay. So let's load. Oops, wrong one. Uh, let's load in here. Forty two. So once again, textures, HDR, gold fields, backplate, and. Uh, Let's go with 42. Okay. And uh, as you can see, you're going to get this. So, what you can do with it is basically you got your gamma here. Uh, and the default is going to be 1. 
I think for these ones. So if you load normal JPEG, you will, you you want to put this at 2.2. Uh, so the best gamma correction, just put 2.2 in, and that uh, is gonna darken up. But in this case, it's 1.0 as this was corrected already. So we got that loaded. Uh, now we need something for our environment. Um, we could use a uh, select bitmap actually let's do a different way uh, for environment reflection we're gonna load our HDR so let's go with textures HDR gold field and uh, you're gonna get this HDR file here which is quite large okay so we just load it up just click open and uh, keep everything, just click OK. And uh, it's gonna load up in a second in the viewport. Okay, so it's loaded up. Uh, what we want to select is click on environment and the uh, spherical environment. That should change a, a little bit. Uh, and uh, for background, what we're going to do is actually drag this one right in here. Make as an instance. And uh, now we're going to drag all of this and just paste it in here as an instance. Background switcher. Uh, so now let's try to make a render. Uh, it's going to be hit render button. Is it gonna pause while it's uh, actually just let me cancel that? Um, I'm using Final Gather and uh, I'm not really need Final Gather right now as uh, I got no light set in a scene. So just gonna switch Final Gather off and uh, make a render again. And as you can see now we're getting uh, the background uh, and uh, we're getting some reflections as you can see from the environment so the next step to do is uh, make this plane disappear so it's pretty easy to do open material enter again uh, made in shadow and uh, what you want to do is camera ma mapped background uh, hit on that oops uh, as you can see there is a camera map so we just copy this one right in here as an instance and uh, apply this to the plane let's try to make a render again and as you can see they are gone uh, as you can see it looks like standing on a brass okay uh so that's about it uh in the next part i'll be um putting shaders i'll be talking about uh, shaders what you could use and uh some um some lightning as well so thanks for watching this part and uh, see you in the next video guys